Hey guys, today we're going to review the EBL 808 charger. This is a uh, smart charger without the LCD display. It's a really nice, inexpensive charger for the money. It's got a few drawbacks to it, but overall for the money, being a $10 charger, this is a really good thing to have around the house. So, um, I bought this with my own money as part of a package where you buy it and then you get batteries with it. And it was like 19 bucks, and I think I got like 8 uh, EBL AAAs with it. So this thing's very simple to operate. It's actually been in the house for four or five months. I actually forgot to review this. And then EBL contacted me about reviewing one of the other chargers and I was like, oh crap, I forgot to review this guy. So uh, like I said, this has been our main charger in the house. We go through a lot of AA's and AAA's. Having two kids, that's a lot of toys. And uh, you know, we do, we, we use AA's and AAA's. So they are pretty common and it's pretty much an everyday thing that we have a couple of these on the charger. Now you can see the positive and negatives are marked in here and you have two kind of separate bays here for AAA and AA and it's pretty simple. You're just stacking them in. Now the only problem with this charger, the big flaw is that you do have to charge them in pairs. You can see the light did not come on until you had two in there. So you do always have to charge two at times. So if you do have uh, toys or things that use three batteries, it can be a real pain always having to find an extra battery to charge with them. So that is one downfall. So all that really matters, and I apologize for the background noise here. We got some kids having fun, but uh, you know it's pretty much my only chance to film, so I kind of got to run with it, guys. So I do apologize here. So as you can see, you can load this up with eight, any combination of double A or triple A's. Now, when you look online, uh, one of the things you're going to see is people complaining that this undercharges, and this is one of the big. Um, kind of problems I have with uh, people who review things online is that many times people are just downright wrong. And one of the big complaints people always said is that this undercharges the batteries by a considerable amount. So I did a test with this just to see, is it really doing this or are these people being goofy? Now here's the thing, if you take a, a AA battery and you put it on any charger, and then you take it off, let it sit for 30 seconds, and then put it back on a charger, it will charge for several minutes. You know, the battery will basically take a trickle charge for a couple minutes and then uh, show as full. Now, what people were saying was that these were taking, you know, a certain amount of milliamp hours and that that was undercharging. So what I did was I charged a series of batteries with this and I charged a series of batteries with other chargers as well. And what I did was took them out, waited 30 seconds, put them into a third charger that was completely unrelated, and then looked to see how much of a charge they took. And what I found was that this charger, they would typically take about anywhere from 60 to 80 milliamp hours uh, before they showed it full. Now with some of the other chargers, it ranged from 50 to 60 to 60 to 80, which is similar to this. But either way, what you're talking about is a difference of 20 milliamp hours. When you have 2800 milliamp hours, what you're talking about is 1%, if even. And we are also talking about trying to discern data that's within the possibility of just random error. You know, the fact that the charging may, you know, be off by 0.01 volt could make that difference in milliamp hours between these. So one of the things, you know, I kind of said was, oh, geez, you know, I get it, people take these out, they put them back into a different charger, and it shows that they take 80 milliamp hours. But you know what? That happens with any charger. And it's gonna be, and you're gonna see numbers between 50 milliamp hours and 100 milliamp hours. So, does this undercharge? In my opinion, no. I think it's just a matter of that when you take these off, the batteries, of course, you know, rest for a minute and they, and they settle. And then, of course, they will take that little bit of trickle charge. Are they full out of this? Pretty much. I mean, they're so close, it doesn't matter. And even then, undercharging batter batteries is way better than overcharging them anyway. So even if this is undercharging by 1%, I am not the slightest bit concerned because that is just fine with me. That 80 milliamp hours is not gonna make any noticeable difference in the run times of any devices anyway. Um, and plus the people who were complaining and saying this does undercharge didn't even go to that level to double check against other chargers. You know, and you see this, and that's one of the big problems with the internet, guys, is somebody says, hey, 
I have this and I wonder charges. And then, you know, like people just repeat it and repeat it and repeat it without testing it. But I took that to the test and found that it isn't undercharging. It just, you know, this is what batteries do. They rest for that minute and then they will take a trickle charge. It's just, it's that way with any battery, any charger. They're always going to take that little bit of charge at the end. And this one's just that hair more, which is, you know, 1% or less of the total volume of these 2,800 milliamp hours. So I did want to dispel that because it is, you look this up and you always see, oh, it undercharges. Well, people need to do some better testing and stop believing everything they read on the internet. But this thing is, it's simple, it's easy, plugs into the wall, put them in, lights go green when you're done. How much easier can that be? My wife loves this one because it is so easy to use. It's so simple. There's no ambiguity with it. There's no, am I going to blow this up? Is this going to catch the house on fire? It's simple. It's easy. She likes it. And uh, it's very just simple and easy. And that's the beauty of this. And it's inexpensive. It's a $10 charger. And EBL does a really good job with making chargers that actually charge Nikomoto Hydrate batteries uh, properly. Some of them just use a timer. You know, they'll actually use a timer and charge for six hours and then shut off. Not these, these do actually use an algorithm that charges them, but it is based on two bays. So it is gonna charge up to like 2.8 volts or whatever. So you can get some differences in the batteries and some issues like that. Once again, these are very minor issues that are often within the error just of charging itself I and mean, most of these things can't charge to within 0.01 volt anyway so you're really splitting hairs and, and complaining about things that really don't make a difference because they're in you know the the margin of error for these things so yeah you know is it the smartest thing on earth no but will this thing get you by for a long time and keep your batteries healthy without destroying them absolutely you know the 9 uh 99 is of course a better charger but a little bit more expensive. But overall, both of these, I will continue to use this one here. You know, my wife's familiar with it. She likes it. You know, we're going to stick with it. And overall, these EBL things are very good for the money and do a great job at exactly what they're supposed to do.